Hey, what's up guys? I'm Snows, your host for Boot Sequence, and it seems like we got more Computex news. Roll the intro. Intel's new limited edition anniversary 8086K CPU will feature 4 GHz on base clock and 5 GHz on boost. I mean, it doesn't come out as too much of a surprise since it's not that big of a boost compared to the 8700K. Now, if it delivers that performance at the same TDP as its older brother, we might see a little bit more room for overclocking. The CPU was unveiled during their Computex presentation and we also got some other cool news. They showed a 28 core processor for the high-end desktop platform and it was running at a blazing fast 5 gigahertz. Now this processor might still be made on the 14 nanometer node and use something similar to AMD's Infinity Fabric to achieve such a high core count. Ian Cutress from Enantec thinks that this CPU is comprised of two 14 core dies bound together using EMIB, the Intel equivalent of the Infinity Fabric. We don't have a lot of details on the CPU, but I am pretty curious to see what the socket will be and especially what kind of TDP a CPU like this will put at 5 gigahertz on all 28 cores. Okay, so this is Future Snows coming in to add some information. And then Tech got a closer look at the 28 core CPU. And first, the socket is LGA3647, which is a server and enterprise grade platform. So this CPU will probably not be for the consumer. At least the demo wasn't. The CPU was not running on normal cooling either. It was running on a custom loop with a chiller that dropped the liquid down to four degrees Celsius. You can see all of the measures they took to prevent not a leak, but condensation from forming and dripping on the components. It's still unclear which CPU was under the hood, but it seems like it's a Xeon Platinum 8180. That's the most likely candidate. So all in all, I feel a little cheated. I mean, sure, they didn't specify that this was an overclocked chip or that they were running a refrigerant line to it, but they only did that to ride the high of the numbers, and I think that this is a little bit dishonest. You had people thinking that you had something ready for the consumer at 28 cores to take their mind off of Threadripper 2, but you didn't. You took a custom enterprise-grade motherboard and enterprise-grade CPU, overclocked it on exotic cooling, and basically basically went, look at our shiny new piece of tech. Anyways, I just wanted to clarify the information because I had already edited and scheduled today's video, but I didn't want to post it without this new information that seemed critical. Future Snows, out. And to finish the Intel Computex coverage, there were two new code names that came up, Whiskey Lake and Amber Lake. They are meant for notebook and ultralights. And we also heard that Intel will launch a new X series line of processor by the end of the year. On the other end, AMD seems to have canceled their Z490 platform. The Z490 is basically a 470 platform with more PCIe lanes with the use of PLX chips. Turns out AMD had trouble sourcing those chips and the entire platform was canceled. With the current maximum of 20 PCIe lanes on a Ryzen processor, it's understandable that someone would want more lanes. Heck, with two GPUs, if there is still someone out there who does that, you are already taking 16 lanes. Add to that an M.2 drive and you're out of lanes. Now, before you start shouting at me because 20 is plenty, I know it is for most of us, but you never know. How many PCI device do you have on your PC? Let me know down below. Personally, I have my graphics card, I have a capture card, I have a USB um, PCIe card, I have my Wi-Fi card, so I might approach the 20 limit very close, or I've already hit it, I'm not even sure. Moving on to some smartphones. Lenovo Z5, which we talked about a few weeks ago, was a lie. I mean, the phone itself wasn't a lie, but the all screen phone will actually have a notch. It's pretty embarrassing in my opinion for a company to announce a phone, put out some artwork and renders, make it look sleek and almost bezel-less, and then just slap a notch and a chin on it. What was going through their head? I mean, you got everyone's attention and then just disappointed everyone. Do you really think they're gonna buy your product after that? I don't even wanna talk about it anymore. Let's move on. 
Speaking of notches, the iPhone might just have Steam Link after all. There weren't any links in that, but oh, Steam Link. A few weeks ago, Valve submitted their Steam Link app to the App Store, but were shut down because it would cause a business conflict since Steam is also sort of an app store. Well, Apple quietly updated its guidelines on Monday to allow what they categorize as remote mirroring apps. So long as the purchase made through the Steam Link app were processed on the PC, then the app would pass the guidelines. I guess we just have to wait for Valve to resubmit the app to the App Store for us to enjoy Steam Link on our iPhones. And lastly, in gaming news, we have something that is close to my heart, Red Faction Guerrilla, my first experience in an open world with destructible environment, will get a remaster for this summer, or as they say, a remars stirred, a remars turd. It's it doesn't remars turd like that. It, Mars turd? What? This version will feature reworked textures, shadow rendering, lighting, etc., and it will be available for free if you already own it on PC, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, it will cost 30 bucks. It will be available for Xbox One X and PS4 Pro if you want to enjoy it in console 4K. And if you want it on PC but don't want to spend the 30 bucks, go buy yourself a key for around five bucks on G2A and wait for the remaster to pop up on your Steam library. <laughs> All right, let's answer a question from the audience. The question is, what is in my PC? Well, my 1060, my GTX 1060 crapped the bed. So currently I have a Ryzen 1700 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and an R9 380X. What about you? What do you have on your PC? Let me know down below. I'd love to see uh, sort through all of your stuff. Anyways, that was pretty much it for the news, guys. Don't forget to stay frosty. Leave a like. I don't ask this enough, but drop a like down below. And uh, don't forget to click right here to watch the latest video right here. Don't forget to share also these videos. It would be greatly appreciated. It would help to uh, grow the channel. And uh, click here to subscribe. It, it was already there, but just click here to subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. By the way, you guys have some pretty cool ideas of what to do in terms of like subscriber celebrations and stuff. You guys are amazing. Stay frost out!